All right, guys, I want to take a minute and talk about chirp sonar. What is the difference between chirp sonar and a regular sonar or a traditional sonar? Let's go ahead and start with what we know. We know our single frequency transducers this is what we've been using for years. Typically, you're going to get like a 50 kilohertz, an 83 or a 200 for regular sport fishing. You know, you may have a combination. Maybe yours does 50 and 200. Maybe it does 83 and 200. Okay, this is what we're used to. You have one cone size, one frequency. Okay. Lower frequency is typically a wider cone, medium is in the middle, and your high frequency is a narrower cone. Your transducer shoots a, a ping down, it hits the target, comes back, tells you where the target is, shows you what it looks like, but it's sending that one frequency over and over and over again in that one cone size. Okay, so now let's look at chirp. Okay, this is based on a chirp ready transducer, Aramar transducers in particular. This is the, uh, the bandwidth the frequency range for transducers that I've used myself and tested myself. So these will change based on what model you have or brand, right? But let's go ahead and use these for now. So now you're going to have low, medium, or high bandwidths. Instead of having one frequency, you get this range of frequencies, okay? When we say bandwidth, this is what we mean. We mean the, all the frequencies available to that transducer. That's your bandwidth. So in a high, your bandwidth is between 150 and 250. The low bandwidth here is between 42 and 65, and medium is between 95 and 155. This is your bandwidth. So what does that mean? Well, it's sending all these frequencies down. Just keep sending all these different frequency pings down instead of just one over and over again. Also, as it goes through the range, it also changes the cone size based on what's available in your transducer. So here in the medium, 24 to 16 degree cone sizes. So as it's shifting through all these or as it's sending all these uh, frequency waves down and pulses or pings, it's uh, shifting through all these different cone sizes. So you're getting multiple cone sizes and multiple frequencies. That's what gives you the fantastic performance of a chirp transducer.